Sebag, just 27 years of age. He's got a terrific test match record. Strike rate of 75 in test matches. Average of just under 57. Best of 309. He's got over a thousand runs against Pakistan in just seven test matches. And Rahul Dravid. Till the last innings in Lahore, he hadn't done too well as an opener, but his overall stats is remarkable. Very consistent. He's got the best average in this Indian cricket team overall. Best of 270 for him. Need another good partnership. Still good batting conditions. The sun is out, it's nice and bright. And this is the man Pakistan will depend upon. Can bowl quick, best of 6 for 11. Strike rate, quite unbelievable for any bowler in any kind of cricket that you play. Under 45 balls for a wicket. They look for a little bit of swing. There might be that low bounce from time to time. And Pakistan. Good jog upstairs, Vaka Yunus. Yeah, it's a long way up where we're sitting. So I was just downstairs uh, doing the last bit. Yunus Khan, uh, the Pakistani acting captain at the moment. There he goes. And there he goes. Fantastic instincts. That's what he depends on, Virendra Sebag. He's not unduly worried about anything in this world. Short and wide, that's his liking. Started off uh, exactly where he left in the last game. Bit of width there, and he's not bothered. He's going to throw his bat anything uh, wide at him. Beautiful shot once again. Straight away puts the bowlers on the defensive. Not over attacking the Pakistanis. Again, the outside edge and another boundary. Not very convincing. He went at the ball very hard. The pace was provided by Akhtar. Consecutive boundaries. Nothing wrong with the delivery. That one uh, swinging away from the bat. Maybe a touch. Uh, Outside the off stump, and uh, Sivag got caught in no man's land. Got an outside edge, race to the boundary. No chance there for Danish Kaneria to stop that one. Trying to make eye contact. Show Bakta. That's a great delivery. Sheer pace and good length. I don't think many bowlers have pitched the ball up. This one uh, was way up and uh, good seam position, I gather. That's a very nice position. And that one went with the seam. Beautiful outswinger. That's a fast bowler. Every fast bowler loves to do this sort of uh, bowling. Excellent line and length. debutant Muhammad Asif 23 years of age right arm fast medium rolling from the pavilion end it's a good position for Dravid the man at shortish mid wicket Mark, typical Rahul Dravid fashion. That's his strength, that's his bread and butter. Does not really matter if the ball is new or old. If you bowl there on uh, Rahul Dravid's legs, he's gonna keep hitting you four through that area. Nicely timed there. The last chess match, this was in Lahore when he got 128. Rahul Dravid, look at the zone on the leg side. Plenty of runs. Right through here. Ah! He's got up and appeal, has it carried? 
He did get the outside edge. Was a good delivery. They were about to appeal, but then it was aborted. Could have been a big disaster here for the Indians. That one pitched up once again. Swung away. Definite edge. Not carrying. It's a little deep, uh, Kamran Akmal there. Have a look at the length. Beautiful length. No, you can't go forward. You can't go back. Just pitch in front. Could have been a dream start for this youngster. lightning quick if you're a bowler you would be very very angry with that that was a good delivery but uh, leaned on it put in the Sivag and a very sloppy fielding there by Abdul Razak not behind the ball at all that one didn't really swing the interesting part is uh, that uh, Rinda Sivak hasn't really moved at all. He, all he did is just put the bat on ball. And the rest was done by Abdul Razak in the cover. Edged and dropped. Not very often will you get these. A man in supreme form. Rinda Sivak, edges one. Imran Farhat was the fielder. Doesn't catch it. Could this be costly? Well, it'll be interesting to see where that ball hit. It definitely win the Sivag showing that he hit the toe end of the bat. And it's always difficult in the slips. He should have caught that plenty of time. Good height. He just stole it. That can be very costly. We have seen this before. We have seen in the last series. Pakistan dropped him a couple of times. He went for a huge... Runs 300. You can't get a better height than this. Just mentioned that he was a chirpy character. Just encouraging the fielder not to worry about it. Can happen to the best. Look forward to the next one. That's a drop catch. Uh, Pakistan has been successful in getting both these batsmen, Nick. And that one seems that it has just dropped a little bit, dipped a little bit uh, at Imran Farad. And the captain just comes around. Never mind. Keep an eye on the ball. And Shre Bakhtar wasn't really happy early on, but uh, must have said to Sivak, I got you once now. be hoping Virinder Sivag doesn't make a big one here. This was a great opportunity, getting the toe end of the bat. Good, just knee-high catch. Didn't have to make great ground. You have to call that a straightforward run for a slipper. He runs on the leg side, just a single. Normally a very safe hand, uh, Imran Farad, in the slips. The misfield, just get the single. Sin never run on a misfield, and Traub had wanted the single. A good stop there by Danish Canaria, that's not his field position but uh, good work done Miss Field looking for a single I don't think there would have been any problem if that would have hit the stumps good judge run by Rahul Dravid well 
got some guns there. <laughs> fancy his chances no feet movement at all this would have gone for a boundary at law that one uh, swung a little bit seemed off the wicket thrown that bat on ball nowhere near too quick the ball was gone before the bat came down great seam position right through Asif to continue. Big appeal. They have hit the pad first. There was a lot of bat involved. Rudy Kurtzen right through this test match has given even the smallest of doubt to the batsman. That one uh, nip back a touch. But, uh, the impact was uh, definitely outside the line of the off stump. That's why Rudy was not interested at all. On to the front foot, no way that's hitting the stumps. Even if it is, the pad is outside the line of the off stump, so cannot be given out. He gets into this side on position very nicely, but he gets out of that maybe a touch early. That's where he, I think, he can improve if he stays side on a touch longer. I bet he will get an extra yard or two here it is trying to go into the side on and gets out it very quickly needs to stay a touch longer again misfield we've seen this happen before and being seeing it again misfield and another boundary Seva would mind it a nightmare there for Abdul Razak there at point then the Savag onto the ball, punched it. That is a poor field and that is a sloppy fielding. Being a bowler, I don't want Abdul Razak to be standing there at point. It's the handle, as it is with golf shafts, with golf clubs. You ask any professional golfer, it's the shaft they're more worried about than the actual the, the head club, the size of the head. Oh, and let me tell you, when I face fast bowlers like Michael Holding and co around the world, you need to have a good thigh pad. I mean, 44 or 45 was a Garfield then. I was just a kid and I bowled two maiden overs to the greatest batsman in the world. I was so happy. A maiden, 23 for no loss. 23 for no loss. Veranda Suwag on strike. A few different field positioning changes here by Yunus Khan. A short cover point now and a short mid-wicket now for those lofted little drives there. Sometimes he does. But he sometimes him hits him as hard as that. <laughs> Oh, he's a good player. He really is. And the players like that, you certainly don't want to be giving chances. They'll pay for this, Pakistan. Again, there you can see the difference between pace. <laughs> Mohamed Asif not as quick as Shoaib Akhtar, so you can see the front leg of Verinda Sewag actually coming out and coming towards the ball have been better though than Pakistan didn't even manage to get hand on ball there how about how they go about the fielding that was the one he just missed and it's just got through the legs there it's disappointing him around for hard dropping a catcher catch it first slip and oh Abdul Razak they might be doing a little bit of work, one feels, maybe the end of the day's play or tomorrow morning. And again, some more shoddy fielding. Kaneria on that occasion. Abdul Razak let two through his legs. He's a little bit bored there on the right, but cricket's not that bad. Sea wags in. Shaw backed up. There'll be a couple there, one feels. Hit it right off the meat of the bat. He's trying to nip the ball back in, not to give him any room outside off stump, but sometimes 
you don't have a fieldsman in the big wicket area, it's pretty hard to keep him on strike or stop him from getting some runs. Look at where the keeper is. He should be, the first slip should be, say, may, maybe two steps behind him. As he creeps forward, he's a long way back, isn't he, Imran Farhad? bit of bat in that they'll be looking for two and they're running we'll have to wait to see from the umpire whether he got some bat on that and he did two more to the score as a bowler do, do you often say boys you're too far back or or have you ever mentioned so or is it the responsibility of the keeper it's a responsibility of the wicket keeper and the men in the slip cordon but as a bowler you have all right to say to them that you think that they're a bit far back you know I always prefer to see the ball hitting the hand and if anything falling out of the hand if it's the lay of the land is. Fantastic. Just a bit of room. The sound of that ball off that willow. <laughs> when you're hitting them like that, you're obviously not going to be wasting too much energy running. Short. Wide outside off stump. And the four runs. They've got to find a plan for him, don't they? As you said, Mikey, look, no feet there. He's got eyes are very level. His head's still. He's got wonderful hands, we know that, and a great eye. And they have batted 11 overs, are 39 for no loss. Sebag on 31, Drabid on 8. Abdul Razak, it will be. He's making a comeback into the attack. When he was on 12, by Imran Farad in the first lip. Little surprise uh, by Yunus Khan bringing Abdul Razak straight after T. Well fielded. Very well fielded. Imran Farhat again, the substitute. Doing well, there was no man in the deep. Little dangerous there, Brinda Sevag, looking for a late cut. Nicely done there by Imran Farad on that occasion. Stopped uh, a sure boundary. It's got to be watchful, Sebab. Somebody in the top five has got to get a big hundred. Three slips in a gully. Abdul Rasak, read in the newspapers, was brought into the team to add a little bit of stability to the batting. But more importantly, they thought he had the ability to pick up Seba. What's in the right channel? Seba going hard at that. And a good take. When they're happy. I get this feeling that uh, this wicket is playing some tricks. That one uh, extra bounce in that delivery. Asif to start from the far end. Appeal for Renan at the non striker's end. Did the bowler make any contact with the ball? Simon Toffel. Not even asking for the third empire. I don't think Mohammed Asif's got a touch on that. That's why Simon Tuffel decided not to go for the third umpire. Well, he did. We have to see the sideways here. Because uh, that one uh, clipped his uh, little finger on the way, heading to the stumps. He's safe. He's safe. Well, you can say that now, it's a good umpiring. 
on the catch of uh, Imran Farad in the first slip. That one definitely bounced and look at the carry. And look at this technology, beautiful, nicely taken right in front of his eyes. And this is the ultra motion, eyes on the ball. It's exactly what he did, right through. Watchful. Excellent uh, position he gets into, and the front, uh, especially front elbow, just uh, pump it up beautifully. Not really on top of the front leg, which really doesn't really give him uh, the bounce. But he puts a lot of effort in. Has he got the gap? No, the feeling's good. Direct hit, Vivius Lakshman would have had to walk back, but it wasn't a direct hit. It's four runs to Rahul Dravid. The fielder had to go for this throw. Very lucky, very lucky. And that one punched into the cover. Yes, no, similar what Yusuf did. He had no chance of coming back. Oh, not far. Don't worry about the runs. That would have hit the stumps. Lakshman would have been gone. This is a classic. He's good in that zone. Pitched up, no swing. Great shot from Dravid. Brings up the 50 for India. Very fine number three batsman. Well, silk and touch. Just strolling down to the non-strikers in. Don't bother running VBS. That's a glorious hit. That's the best shot we have seen uh, from uh, the Indian inning so far. Just a little classy touch. Big gap there. Three slips standing. Nicely played. A little bit of an angle involved in that. So just to pick up that huge gap in the cover. Excellent shot. Great delivery, 20 over. It's 56 for one. Doesn't really matter what number he bats. He's batted most of the numbers. He opened the batting, number three, number four. Outstanding shot. Nothing wrong with the delivery. He was in very good position very quickly. The best thing about this shot was the position he was, he was in. He was in a great position before the ball was delivered. Just move back a little bit and then just shifting that weight onto the front foot. Disciplined in the bowling. Asif continues. Wants the single drop it. Gets it. Well, we saw Abdul Razak's release. Muhammad Sami's been dropped. Again, he's found the gap. Does it have enough to get to the fence? It's well stopped by Salman Butt. Just the two for the Indians. Would have been an easy three. Little bit of a lazy running there by Lakshman. He looks so classy when he, when he gets going. Third umpire would like to have a look at this one. I think he's fine. He's right. Just the two.
He's bowling at a fairly good pace. He's bowling at 135, 130, and there you go. Release. It releases very nicely, if you look at it. Seam upright, doesn't really come down. It come down out of his hand nicely, but after pitching, it just wobbled a little bit. Good seam position right behind the ball. Can uh, generate some extra pace if he puts his action a little bit right. But a beautiful uh, wrist position. Because uh, he has bowled very well against England, against India, in India. In India, wickets are different, and more turning tracks. Here are the more flat wickets, so it will be a big test against the best, uh, best team. Work nicely. He is extremely strong in that area. Work from middle and off. Dravid picks up the boundary. Not many cricketers I've seen uh, playing this shot so well. It was uh, just there on the middle stump and they worked it out in that big vacant area, wide mid on. It wasn't going anywhere. It was hitting the stumps and he just swept it beautifully through that uh, mid wicket area. Well, easily the technically the best player in the world at the moment. So you'll be inclined to go for the hook. No third man. A few kids down there are doing some fielding beyond the boundary. Well, a bit of support here for India, but even they weren't applauding. That is a very well executed shot. Just waited on it, played late, found that gap between gully and second slip. No third man. All along the ground. 79 for one. Pitch offering just a bit more to, to the bowlers. Well fielded. Protection out there on the point boundary. for one still all of 508 runs behind India all these batsmen will be doing is concentrating on spending time at the crease at the moment but in the back of their minds collectively it's not easy to duck under it this was Lakshman in a couple of overs ago had to go down really low and it almost glanced the back of his helmet. Looking for two here, Lachman. Again, that ultra motion replay, Arun, shows you the difference in technique with the modern day cricketer or batsman to years before they had the helmet. There's no way a batsman without a helmet would start turning his head like this and take his eyes off the ball. He's protecting himself because he knows if the ball hits the helmet, more than likely he'll be okay. So he can afford to do that. was very very quick in the air by the time the bat came down it almost had found its way onto the pad I suspect that inside edge is what saved him coming in slightly yes fortunate for Lakshman he got that bat down in time it was headed towards the middle stump he was a goner if he hadn't got that inside edge onto pad
can see the ball definitely heading in, although the seam was slanted slightly towards the slip cordon. But that's all you've got to do as a fast bowler, bowl the right line. It doesn't matter in which direction the ball moves if you have the line right. Because you certainly don't have total control over that ball. It has a mind of its own at times. In the 140s, but he does hit the 150s as well. There's that slow delivery, but it was a full toss. 86 for one. There's that flick again against the so-called spin. Comfortable couple of runs. Hippie Pure, the lead now on the 500. The fact that it was over-pitched is what made him go through with that shot. It also brought up the 50, the partnership between these two. Lutch one on 16. That's well played. It has actually run away. I felt that maybe Mohammad Asif will get a foot in, but he didn't. As long as he allowed it to get onto those practice wickets, he was going to struggle after that. Once it gets onto those practice wickets, it just runs away. There we go. A well rolled area. Well played. Mohamed Asif having no problems in cutting that last one off. He certainly is getting turn and we expect there to be turn as the game wears on. A lengthening somewhat here. It must be a little bit hard, one would think, trying to pick up a ball at 150 clicks. Vivius Laxman. Well, he didn't play that too well. Didn't get it. He, he, he just tried to get bat on it. He wasn't, didn't have much feet at all in that shot, but typically Rahul Dravid, when under pressure, seems to bring out his best, his seventh boundary. Moves into the 40s. It was the slower delivery from Shoa Bhakta. Not many batsmen around the world pick it up. Rahul Dravid does it in grand style. Just placed it. Knew the outfield was pretty quick. In the well-disguised slower delivery. Away from the batsman. And also brings up the 100 for India. Pat first. He's having a good look at that. Oh, Rudy, under pressure there. Well, real good delivery. Good delivery. Have to go with you. Fuller certainly made contact with the bat, but it was Pat first. Was the ball turning? The impact was on the off stump. Element of doubt was the ball turning. Umpire wasn't too sure. What does the Hawkeye say? Clipping off stump. Lakshman lucky to survive. Plum. Spoken like a true leg spinner. End of the over 101 for one. Beautiful shot there by Dravid and hits the stumps and deflected. It probably cost him three runs there. Well, he shouldn't play so straight. Always have taught by my coach when I was a kid, try to hit the ball at the at your non-striker, at the batsman, because when you play it straight, too straight, it costs you runs sometimes. Could cost your partner. Could lose it. There you go, well played. Through the covers, a little bit of width. Just makes it look so easy, doesn't he, VVS? We'll come back to the leg before I haven't finished yet. But he's such a good player, square of the wicket on both sides. All he needs to do is to get in first, which he's done already. There's the leg before again. 
Well, I've seen Enzamam ul Haq twice in Mohali being given out similarly. The umpire was sure the ball pitched in line, hitting him in line. Hasn't done too much. It was going to hit the stumps. Man, it matters. I, I can understand really giving that nod out, though. A long way, a long way down the pitch. You know, you're a very good player of spinners. How did you know which way the ball was spinning? Did they watch the ball in the air? Deep backward square leg for one. But a hand it to a lot of the Indian batsmen. Let's not forget that they haven't had a, a hit for some of the middle order batsmen for two and a half weeks almost now. Getting to the dartfish. That'll give you a fair indication of the way he spins the ball. Look at the revolutions of the ball in the air. Seam towards slip. Just a hint to turn. Just pick up the single draw of it. It's fascinating to watch the trajectory of the ball in the air. Interesting grip there. Looks like he's got four fingers or three fingers on the on the same set of the two. There it is, just straightening up. I'm glad he hit it. Played off the back foot. If that hit him in the pads, I might have gone up with him. Siva, which would have been rare. A false start. Batsmen are never happy with any decisions, more so like before. <coughs> Waiting's the call, don't want to run out this time of the night. Two from the over, 109 for one. And the major concern is for the safety aspect for the players not just for the batsmen and also for the fieldsmen now it's been rewritten that law still a lot of ex-players and commentators around the world still query it the way it's interpreted but nevertheless we've got another over out show you to a little bit of turn and a run straight away Just be careful of the quicker one here. The appeal is he got back too quick. He knew what was happening there. Rahul <laughs> Dravid. Oh, he's been around the block a couple of times. He knew exactly what Shahid Afridi was trying to do there. He's trying to deflect it onto the stumps. I think they practice it in the nets. He just deflected it on. He was back, made it easy. There it is. That's the quicker one. And I thought he was going to throw that for a second. But I felt sorry for Cameron Akbar because he thought he threw it as well. He was Shiva, good morning around the world of whoever's watching uh, this broadcast. Gentle loosener. Nice way to start for the Indian captain. Also brings up his 50. Rahel Dravid uh, started where he left last night. This was a very easy delivery to put on. This man has been very, very straight around that off stump area. No third man that will go all the way. Beautiful shot. Really was. He's probably his best shot for me today. It's his sixth boundary. A little bit away from uh, his body, but very effective. This uh, wicket is so good that you can afford to play away from your body. And that's what exactly he did. There was a bit of a room there. He didn't really move his feet once again too much. All he did is just angle the ladder a little bit and feel the middle of the bat no i think he's more worried about the police officer still walking around and that might be another another four full toss he's trying to give it every opportunity to to reverse swing and that's the hundred partnership between this two experienced pair 
this is what happened when you're trying to hide the ball sometimes you're not experienced enough fantastic partnership a real tough one this pitch is getting a lot harder to bat on that's for sure 102 from 240 balls and it's the 900th run partnership between these two so they enjoy each other's company so it's going to go away is it I'm trying to buy a little away swinger there I know he covers it up, but some stage he has to take that left hand off, off the hand. And that's when you've got to really watch the ball out of the hand. Well, I was very impressed with uh, Glenn McGrath in recent, the recent time when he, he used to change his grip. In a few of the matches I've seen, he just uh, used to run in and show you the shine outside of his uh, right hand. And then at the last second, he just... Uh, Twist the ball, and as a batsman, you've been thinking, "Oops, I'm in trouble." Brilliant shot, Rahul Dravid. You're really in form, and playing beautifully. 146 for one. They were really starting to swing the ball around and bowl with a lot of intensity. Now there's a couple of bowling changes. Danish Canary are on. Danish Canary is going to be a key for Pakistan here. Pakistan desperately need a breakthrough here got only Sivag yesterday about nine overs Got so far sometimes now you can't relax you had the ball reverse swing you around all right he's a very good bowler this kid he's got all the toys he's got flippers wrongans and zutas and all those wonderful deliveries but you have to I'm sure that we're treating with a bit of respect as well. But in saying that, okay, it's always the way most Australian kids have been brought up, batsmen particularly. I hope you're enjoying this joint production here from AOI Digital and 10 Sports. Wow, what, he is very good. I don't think he's been the answer this morning, Abdul Razak. Any with that sort off stump, both of these players are jumping on it. Well, you were talking about the looking at the shine. I don't think Rahul Dravid need to see any shine, which and it is if you can hit it like this. What a shot! Just have a look at the balance amazing balance, right eye on the ball, pick the gap nicely. It hurts. The 150s up for India. A lot of work to do yet. Well, he's bowling both sides of the, of the stumps here. And you'll only get hurt doing it. Well, you don't have much chance, do you? And that was the difference, I think, with the English guys when they bowled against the Australians during the Ashes series. Good single there. It's the fact that many of them, many of the English guys are bowling at over 140 kilometres an hour. And if you do make a little mistake in length, they're not picking the length up or your feet are in the wrong spot. You feel something's about to break. He bowled a fantastic over before drinks. And now he's bowled five very good deliveries in that area. He's just trying to get a little bit of spin and just wearing just the first over. All in very good lines, good pace. No, nothing there to hit at all. He hasn't given really anything in this over either. Oh, it is one. He only got one for it. Two from it. 155 for one. No ball. Oh, and a bit of shoddy fielding again. He didn't want to get down there. And you know, at times, on these grounds that are so hard, they are so hard here, that, and the grass is, is not that spongy. Honestly, if you dive on your left knee, you don't want your fast bowlers doing a knee on, on a dive like this. Well, you're right, but uh, on that occasion, he was looking to stop with the right hand. He should have gone with his left because the ball was on his left side. Certain types of grass and make it a lot easier for the fieldsman to dive and show their skills as a fieldsman. The problem is you dive on these grounds, you lose your knee. Or a shoulder, or anything can happen. It's just so hard. Well, the PCB got to work on that because uh, the reason they give is uh, 
they don't really get enough time to dig this ground out and maybe put a sandy grounds and and grow a grass again and that's the reason i think that is uh, not a valid reason they should play this first class cricket maybe on a smaller ground and get these uh, uh, big stadiums sorted out because uh, those days are gone when uh, we used to play on those hard grounds and the things were all right fielding was not really important and uh, Razak well he, he just picked the length up so quickly and realized I'll just hope Danish Canary continuing a little wrong in there. Well picked there by Laxman for another single. We'll take you through the next exciting half hour. We've got Shiver and Michael Holding. Good stop. Very good stop. That's the only option you have in this outfield. has done good work already the limited time that he has been on the field played fine we'll look for two and gets it quite easily one sixty eight for one now He'd have fans world over, Shahid Afridi. Bit of excitement. Don't think that touched anything on the way through to Cameron Atmal. Just a matter of hoping for something to, to happen. Certainly died on the way through to the keeper. Looks for the single. Gets him to 49. <laughs> Certainly, I've been bowling a lot of short balls for BBS Lashman. We saw Shoaib Akhtar bowling quite a few. And now it's Abdul Razak. And you can see what Dean Jones was talking about this morning when it comes to helmets and the ducking that the modern day cricketer does. The head turns. And ultra motion camera shows you exactly what is happening when the ball passes it's gone fine and fine enough for a boundary Dravid waits for the loose ball and whenever the, they arrive he doesn't miss the ball is so slow he could turn around and almost drive the ball down the fine leg lack of pace in this pitch have a look at Dravid's body. He's almost completely turned around by the time he plays a shot, so that he can get it very fine. It's been a good, tight little session. 21 overs bowl, just 65 runs. But the important thing from the Indians' perspective, no wickets. Partnership 136 between these two batsmen, Dravid and Lakshman. And the hero comes into bowl. Shai Dafridi from the far end. Plenty of fans. They look for a few wickets here. If he gets a couple of balls to turn, then it will start playing in the minds of the batsman. He will not know whether to play for the straight delivery or the turn. Was shot, but he's quicker through the air, so it's always going to be a dicey shot to play. Certainly, a lot less time in which to play the shot. Very fortunate. Ball certainly rushes on. That could so easily have gone back onto the stumps. We'll pick up a single. And also reaches half century, Vivius Lakshman. 176 for one. It's 
small milestone achieved for VBS Lakshman. 24 test match 50. Seven boundaries in that. Oh, again googly. He's deceived by that. We're talking about the difference in stroke play of these gentlemen. This is Lachman's half century. Not taller than Rahul Javid. So he's able to perhaps get a bit further forward at times. Longer stride. Certainly has played some good yeah. shots. Use away, use away, use away. <laughs> use away. Not a good stop. Mohamed Yusuf, the man. Plenty of runs on the offside in this innings for VVS Lakshman. Picked up most of his boundaries, six boundaries on the offside, and lots of singles and twos on the leg side. And all square of the wicket. Nothing straight. And nothing in the air. A very risky player. VBS Latchman. He's found the gap this time. We'll pick up two more. more runs we will wait for the umpire signal it's gone to the boundary and it's signaled runs four more to Luxman four more to India it's 183 for one so they are moving that chair out of the way we're talking about the pace of the spin bowlers this was Kanira's dismissal quick delivery from Anil Kumle he certainly bows a lot quicker those leg spinners and Google is than most other Wrist spinners. That was him in a flash. Misfield. Oh! Directed. What would have the result have been? Pakistanis thought they would have had him. It was very close. The ball hadn't really gone that far, although there was a misfield. Well, that would have been the end of Rahul Javid. Never run on a misfield, they say. And that's for nothing. They mean a lot. It's played fine. A freely ball's quicker, so the man in the deep is a lot finer. Just a single. Maybe this was intentional, looking for the stumping down the leg side. Oh, he got that to turn. This is interesting now. Is this going to be a regular feature? We asked. This one shot this point. Went a long way. Well, he had to play at that. Rahul Dravid. Great delivery. Turn, just a little bit of width as well. Side on, needs to get his front leg towards fine leg. Back leg is towards fine leg and the front leg towards the first slip position. Good delivery to end the over. 187 for one. Also the upper body, but just have a look at the foot first of all. That left foot, look where the toe is pointing, then the rotation, and you see the turning. The position from which Canaria starts with that toe pointing towards third slip gully. There is no way he can rotate again. If he rotates, he'll be bowling the ball towards 
the offside, which is towards Golly. What he's doing there gets him to turn his entire body and you see he ends up well off the wicket. There's no way any umpire will be warning him for running on the wicket. Have a look at his body here. Look at the movement in that top half of his body. He's found the gap and he'll find the boundary as well. End of the over, it's 192 for one. Bit of turn. He's mixing it up quite nicely. Two balls ago. Ball to delivery. Scramble seam much quicker. Go straight on with the angle. The slider. Just to keep the batsman thinking. And this was the leg break. Genuine one. Good seam position towards slip. Bit of turn. Opening up Rahul Dravid. Again, the straighter delivery. So no risk involved in uh, trying to play to the leg side. Freedy continues. Another good delivery. It's been a testing time for these two batsmen. Lakshman 61, Dravid on 86. India 193 for one. Take it through the next half hour, Steve Jones and Arunla. Another good delivery and just getting it late. Thanks very much, Shiva and Mikey. Fantastic shot. That's his best shot for his innings. That's so hard. It was just short of a length to find the gap and to work it as hard as he did. Brilliant shot. Brilliant is the word. Off the back foot, the on drive, very rarely will you see this shot played with a straight bat. Great position onto his toes, just whips it past. They're racing through the overs today. That last over just went for two minutes. And single around the corner. Puts Draven on strike. He's in his 90s now. And it's a, a time that did worry you, Aaron, when you were in the 90s? Never worried me, I never got there. <laughs> Great shot, down the granny will pinch one at least. There's to 91. It's got to watch those rough areas now, they'll come into play. If you're coming from round the wicket, Danish Khan area, those are his best scores. 270 against Pakistan, 233, 222, 217, Australia, New Zealand, England. Lots of variety as well. Oh, beautiful shot again. That might be at least two. It's very quick here at Iqbal Stadium. That'll be four from the over. 201 for one. Good battle here between Afridi and Dravid. And four more. Brilliant shot. Two full. Picked up the length and smashed it wide of mid on. Well, he's such a joy to watch when he is in this kind of form, Rahul Dravid. The previous on drive was off the back foot. This off the front foot. Not the easiest when you're not sure which ball is going to turn and which isn't. You've got to really be to the pitch of the delivery, which he was. Opened his front toe. Opened it enough to give him... That position. Well, now he's on to 96. He's one hit away. Puts Laxman on strike. Who is played beautifully. He's just gone along quietly, hasn't he? He's got 64 from 164 balls faced. Dravid, 15 fours. He'd love to have one more four there somewhere, wouldn't he? He'd get it up to. So, it's been a fantastic effort by these two. Quick single there, taken, throwing to Laxman's end. He hits and deflects. Of course, the batsmen these days don't take on a run. I don't know why. It's sort of a... Here it is here. He's throwing the ball in. The ball's hit the batsman itself. And they don't take a run. 
I bet you in a World Cup final, if they needed two runs to win, they'd be running. Is that the four? It's a chance for a run out. No. Oh, you just got to be careful when guys are on 96. Oh, they can smell something happening here. The crowd, good piece of work there in the field by the Pakistanis. That was well done. Well fielded by Farad. The, wicket, the best of times, but we've only lost two wickets in the series for 600 odd runs, so they played pretty well, the top three. <laughs> Been a good partnership, 169 runs. Not too many times in his career that he would have come in two for 200 and say nine. But anyway, Rahul Dravid, he's on 96. Watched every ball onto the bat. Sure, a couple of times he's played and missed. It's been difficult at times. Into the over. 209 for one. Only 14 or 15 minutes away. You fancy going down the ground? Sample the food. Well, these two are sampling some bowling. Two more here to. Laxman, no, I don't know. I think it might have a... <laughs> Just short, he's trying to whip it through mid wicket, the front edge. And that's the difference with the big bats that they use, the big front edges they got. That, that ball carries forever. Well, this is the danger of trying to play against the break. He got away with it, got the outside edge, the leading edge, didn't carry to the fielder. Well, I don't think he's going to do it with 10 minutes to go before lunch, but you never know with the modern-day players. He's wrong and he's picked it again. He's pinched the strike again. Well done. Three from the over, 212 for one. Take as few risks as possible. Oh, he likes it there. They'll get two. Maybe not. Let's travel a little bit quicker to the fieldsman down there. So it puts. And now he's being made to think should he or shouldn't he go at those deliveries on the leg stump or just outside it? He's got a good onside field. There's a short fine leg for the top edge sweep. A lot of shot looking for two, maybe. You'll get one at least. No. I think the Pakistanis would love to say, look, you can have your century, but you've got to get out straight after. <laughs> and he'll pinch another single here to pinch the strike. Well done. VVS played beautifully. 215 for one. I hope you're enjoying these pitches here. Joint production between AOI Digital and 10 Sports. He loves hitting across the line, doesn't he? He likes whipping it through mid wicket. Well, that's the way he plays. He's the master when it comes to using wrists. But at the moment, that is Canaria through Hawkeye. You see him all over the shop there because he's sort of changed strategies on a number of occasions. Looking for two. He'll pinch the strike again. I thought it was off the bat. I just have to wait from Rudy Kurtzen. And it's off the bat. Never got a hundred against him either. Well, he's pinched the strike again. Amazing. You are a genius. 219 for one. Let's just have a little look at the ball here. Let's have a little look at what Darfish has got for us here. And there it is, the set up the head over the top of the front foot. A little back, back foot press and a forward press. And they open the blade up, keeping his back foot most of the time behind the crease there. 
It's a nice little comparison. Just watching the feet as well as watching. He'll pinch two. He might get three here. If they run really hard. Knows the call by VVS Laxman. That Darfish was an interesting example of, of how far batsmen get forward to play the forward defensive. You've got both batsmen there. On a ball that's pitched around about the same spot. Look how far forward VVS goes compared to maybe Rahul Dravid. One of the guys that I've played and you played against, Sarah, and it was the biggest try that I've ever seen was Clive Lloyd. He used to get a long way down there, didn't he? In the air a little bit wide, a first slip. He'll get one, and he'll come back for second to take the strike again. Oh, if that hits, if the keeper allowed that ball to go onto the stumps, he might have been in trouble. The throw has come in very powerfully. Lakshman is not the fastest. The keeper is collecting it ahead of the stumps, only to try and get it quicker onto the stumps, but Lakshman is in. These days the keepers take it in front of the stumps rather than from behind. Good outside edge there, but I don't know why they do that, because it takes out the chance of the ball hitting the stumps on the full. I've still never worked that one out yet. A few modern day coaches believe the fieldsman or the bowler should get the ball before the stumps and moving on. But for me... Oh, and he runs it away for four. Oh, that's a very good shot. And he hasn't pinched the strike, though. Well done. And his highest score against Pakistan. End of the over there, 227 for one. As looks like we will be going for lunch. The thumbs up there from Simon Taufel. And a session that was dominated by the Indian batting. All these pictures being brought to you by a joint production between ARI Digital and 10 Sports. I will drop it on... 97 at the moment. We we'll have to wait and see if this was but no signal coming from Rudy Kurtzen. He moves on to 98. Especially when we have anything on his leg side, look to exploit that huge gap in mid wicket area. Hasn't pitched the strike this time. It's 228 for one. Just seeing the eyes alone, what you can tell that there's a smile there. Shida Freedy to continue from the golf course end. reasonably attacking field there's a slip and a silly point or perhaps you just call it a silly mid off is that straight close call again those nervous 90s for Rahul Rabid well he's been out in 97 times before he's not very far just got a big inside edge onto the pad definitely a nervous uh, moment there for Royal driver wants to get over that quickly. Two more runs are needed for his three figures. That's one of them. Oh, that was close. Abdul Razak again at mid off. Well, Mikey, I have a feeling that uh, this was very close. No, he did make that ground quite comfortably, but uh, his bat was very much in the air. He didn't really drag the bat. Lawn very fine. Lots of pace on those deliveries from Shida Freedy. Another boundary to Latchman. If you're offline with this sort of deliveries, you're bound to go for the boundary. And just a tiny bit of an edge there. Close the bat at the last second, but I believe that it was a little bit of edge before he closed the bat. Went very quickly to the boundary. A single for Latchman. That means he gets back on strike for the next over. 234 for one. Well, Wakar, I guess a few Pakistanis will be over by the minute they're praying for a wicket or two. 
nothing happening for Pakistan yet. More runs for Latchman. I think he just may be trying to get the three figures before Rahul Dravid. He certainly hasn't been giving him too much of the strike. Not really sure that if he is being greedy or he's just uh, it's just a bad delivery he gets on the last uh, last ball and he just uh, tucks it for single partnership worth 197 it's been a marathon uh, partnership very much needed for the Indians his first wicket on this ground in this test. Well, a top spin there from uh, Danish Canaria. A touch of extra bounce. I don't think it was close enough to cut. A little bit of bounce. Huge outside edge. Beautifully taken there by Kamran Nakmo. Well, you deserve this wicket. He bowled well. He bowled really well. Lakshman goes for 90, 236 for two. Well, those of you who haven't been able to watch the Nets in the morning would not have seen this man back since the series started. First time that we have seen him in the middle. And we're almost halfway through this test series. Sachin Tendulkar. And he bats at number four. Can you imagine that? The tail starts here, Wakar. <laughs> yeah, it's been a real hard work for the, for the bowlers uh, here so far in the series. Raul Dravid on strike. On 99. Got to wait. Nervous moment there for Rahul Dravid. What is he thinking, Mikey? Which, which gap is he thinking of? Almost. Almost. Didn't carry to slip. That spun again. Well, you don't want to go through that gate. Gap. That was a turn. It turned sharply. Hit the back. Had, I, I believe I don't think he hit the bat, but uh, brilliantly done there by Yunus Khan in the slip. There it is. That's the hundred for Rahul Dravid. It's twenty-second test hundred. It's two forty for two. We're starting seeing some spin here. We saw one turning from uh, Shahid the Freedy in the last over, and this one uh, from Danish Canaria didn't hit the rough, it hit the clear part of the wicket, and that one turned. His second century as an opener as well, Rahul Rabid. And of course, his second century as captain. No bridges there, everything on the ground. No lofted shots. Runs for Sachin Tendulka. Gets a single to get off the mark. It's 241 for two. Still 347 runs behind India. 
so they still need to get another 148 to save the follow and that's why perhaps Yunus Khan has brought Shoy Bakhtar back into the attack he's looking for wickets if you throw your memory back just about six years you remember the first time ever Shoy Bakhtar bowled to Sachin Tendulkar he got him out with his first delivery that's perhaps why Yunus Khan again that's a very basic mistake by Rahul Dravid he would have been easily in if that bat would have been on the ground but what a throw one aim one and a half stump to aim bang gone thank you well the bat was just outside the line as well when the stump was hit so Rahul Dravid knew no chance just kept on walking all over still not the best technique in the world though that bat should have been on the ground a long time before it got that close to the line it's 241 for three number five for India Yuvraj Singh not very experienced at the test match level Yuvraj Singh this is just his 12th match has a best of 112 though and I think India will need him to approach that in this innings to get to safe ground There it is, red, hard, and shiny. Well, the gentlemen in the commentary box, none of them are red, but they are both hard. Here is Arun Lal and with him, Shiva. Thanks, Mikey. In two minds. Good pace as well. This is a good move to take the new ball. Good afternoon, Arun. Good afternoon, Shiva. Yes, uh, but I would have felt that, you know, he may have wanted Canaria to bowl with the older ball at Yuvraj Singh. Wanted to avoid that one, Sachin. Didn't get up quite as much as he had anticipated. A few mind games going on as well. Just that long stare, the smile. Play fine, it'll be a boundary. It just might work either way. There could be a couple of wickets or there could be a few runs off the blade. That is very well played. Let the ball come very close. Just tucked it away fine for this welcome boundary for Tendulkar. This is this is also the fastest ball of the match, so he does get spurred on at the side of Sachin Tendulkar. Shoaib. But Shiva, really, I, I, I thought the new ball was not going anywhere. They could always take it a couple of overs later as well. Great delivery. Three slips in the gully waiting. Shoe Bakhtar willing to bend his back. It's going to be exciting. Yes, this is really exciting cricket. 
the fastest bowler in the world, bowling to one of the great batsmen in the world. Terrific conditions for cricket. Wonderfully poised the game. India in a bit of trouble at the moment. Lost two quick wickets after lunch. Staring at 588, 246 for three now with two new batsmen. So it's really taken a battering. Mohammad Asif bowled 18 overs, none for 46. He's in charge from the pavilion end. So it's important for the young uh, Asif to strike as well. He's bowled well, good lines in good areas, has been restricted, not given too many runs away. A wicket at this stage will certainly have boost his confidence. Left-right combination, Yubrad Singh and Tendulkar. If they can rotate strike, it would be pretty good. Look at the difference between the new ball and the old ball. I think the seamers would prefer to bowl with the newer ball around. But take a look at the seam. Now, this is the new ball with the seam. And when you take a look at the older ball, that's the new ball. That looks pretty all right to me. Good seam. It's hard, shining. Has he made contact with the bat? It will be four runs. But leg buys. Shoy Bakhtar is really steaming in. Trying to get as much pace as possible. Possibly may have got a bit of bat onto that. This is Shoy Bakhtar. Just take a look at him. How much effort and energy he puts into each delivery. Just reaching there. Take a look at that contorted face. And he lets out a huge grunt. So there's not only speed of the ball, there are those sound waves as well, and those energy waves that he's really pushing through at the batsman. Oh. Awkward. Great delivery again, making the batsman, Yuvraj Singh, play at the bouncer. Well, that was awkward to say the least. They're not getting up too high, these deliveries now. The short ones in a really awkward position, Yuvraj. He felt that it might go over him, wanted to let it go, but then got caught in no man's land so to speak short leg was a little deep no damage done because he managed to keep it down now he's come up a step the short leg slow delivery show up Akta of appealing for the leg before runs given we'll come back to that in a moment it's 251 for three Going for the ribcage, just out of the reach of Kamran Akmal, and leg buys. From round the wicket, short ball into the body. Yuvraj not hooking, not interested in hooking. Just off the thigh pad, and just slightly away from Kamran Akmal. Yes, off that sweater. Four leg buys. That's a good call by Rudy Kurtzen. Have managed short leg and two deep on the leg side, looking for the top edge pull. He's gone for the pull shot. And he's made good contact. Hit it along the ground. Great commitment. Imran Farhat is the man in the deep, substituting for Imran Enzimamul Haq. Great effort. Got the placement right, but couldn't get the timing right. It hit the bottom of the blade. 
That's why he didn't get too much power. Bad also turning in his hands slightly. That was terrific commitment and great effort by Imran Farad. He's the man who got in that throw to dismiss Rahul Dravid as well. to control and take a look at this for a catch he had to be careful that he didn't step on the line he knew that the line was somewhere close Danish Canarias just that to a nicety take a look at that for reaction yes yes this is a big big breakthrough Pakistan are, Pakistan are on fire three wickets after lunch four for Yuvraj and it's now 258 for four well he's come in because Danish Canary has just taken a wonderfully judged catch. Yuvraj couldn't help himself. Just too high. And outside the off stump. Sliced it. And Canary took it on his side. Very close to that boundary rope. No ball called. Just a matter of one yard. There is a big gap between man at point and extra cover. Oh. A bit of trouble. And that long follow through by Shoaib Akhtar. He had a few words to say. Tony normally wants to go under those deliveries. Now because of the bounce not being as anticipated. Finally he had to take evasive action and withdraw. Take a look at Shoaib Akhtar. They're all converging in on Dhoni. Even shortly had a follow through. Really? Well, the Pakistanis know that they're in with a great opportunity here. And stand on over. He is an attacking batsman, Dhoni. The only way he can play is go after the bowling can be a touch risky well he gets off the mark not very convincing though but that's the way he plays the top edge I'm not so sure whether he meant to play it but whatever it was it came off all right took the outside edge that's for sure Got away with it, Dhoni. The white one is the one he edged. And the red one is the one before. In a bit of trouble is a polite comic. The ultra motion again. Shoe Bakta gives more than 100 percent. Shoe was interested, not anybody else. Overcalled. Tendulkar now, 6 from 26, he's finding it hard to get a loose one somewhere, don't he? Well, you'll find different ways to score runs, that's the way he plays. Yuvraj missing out here for four, someone had to miss out somewhere, but there's still a need. 124 runs to avoid the follow-on, oh, he likes him there, the yummy. Don't bowl any width to a great man like this and he'll jump on you. Well, the first man out today 
was Vivis Laxman and that was full of delivery and a little outside edge, top edge, nicely taken there, no doubt uh, in the umpire's mind. Just got a little feather, didn't he? Wow, he, look, he really is good. He gets on the back foot and just get the place for right. And a big bats of his, two pound 12, goes for four. End of the over, 273 for four. And now I've got a backward square. And I've got a feeling there'll be a fair bit of chin music. Well, there's a fair bit of that going as well. That's a fabulous shot. God, John. I didn't think he got most of that, but he did. Had enough of it, Donny. He says, uh, OK, I'm going to take you on. I had enough of ducking and moving around. Beautiful shot right from the meat of the bat, and that has gone far. Look at the way he finishes up, the way he turns his body and, and hits his helmet on the way through there, too, if you saw that. Watch the way he pivots and turns around. Watch the follow through and hits the helmet there. Fabulous six. Two back now for the hook. And he works around the corner. No ball. Looking for two as well. But Sachin doesn't want any part of that. Let me take him, he says. goes for it. I like the way he plays. Just let him go about his natural game. That's what you've got to do. What's the follow through here of this six with his bat? It's it right in the middle. Follows through and he did hit the back of his head there. He had to adjust his helmet there. He knows he's got most of it. Good reply to the fast bowler. Because if, if he makes 60 or 70 here in a hurry, it's taken it away from Pakistan's claws again. That's what you've got to do. Yeah. Well, that might be out of yes. Sean Beckdale's got the big wicket there of Sachin Tenduka. Well, Sachin was looking a little dangerous in the last over, and that was extremely quick delivery. A sheer pace, 92.8 miles an hour. Nip back, just a short of a length. Not really a bouncer, got caught, bit of a glove on it, and he just walked. No hesitation there, Shreya Bakhtar knew that he gloved that one. Very, very, very important wicket here for Pakistan. Sachin goes for 14, 281 for 5. Labada's come alive now. Don't think there's a boring draw here on, on the cards. Show of Akhtar has brought this place to life. Irfan Patan has come in for Sachin Tendulkar. Big query for everyone here whether or not he, did he get a glove on it down the leg side. I, I got the feeling that Sachin walked, but let's have a closer look. Well, you can't really tell from here, but uh, the way Sachin walked, he almost didn't look at the umpire. Umpire was quick to give him out this angle. He just took his hand, right hand, off the... Oh. They've lost four for 45. India. Let's have a look at it again. But from this angle, we'll tell you the story that uh, what Sachin did. Sachin put his hand up saying he did, but then he didn't look at the umpire. I'm not really sure why he just didn't look at the umpire. He was pretty sure that he hit it. That doesn't look at all that it was near the glove. Oh, I think it did hit his... That's there, just in that frame there, I think it might have clicked his hand, but, but his hand wasn't on the bat, but... Oh, it's, it's hit Cameron Akmal there. Might go for, there for a couple of buys and, and he's down. It's bounced just before there to the keeper. Just 
this short. Oh, that uh, that would have been more than a tickle, let me tell you. 284 for five. Chance for a run out again at the bowler's end. No, he's pretty quick. Four wickets for just 59 runs. Bat pad in the leg gully here for Irfan Batan. And they should get at least two here. And they do. Well, I really like the idea of uh, having a short leg and the uh, Gully, leg gully in position, but a little suggestion here for Shwe Bakhtar uh, to go around the wicket. It would be a good idea if you can go around the wicket and keep those fielders to there and maybe put another one on short cover and then bowl a short delivery because uh, I don't think he looks very comfortable even from over the wicket, but coming around the wicket at him, well, that will uh, be very hard work, very, very difficult for Irfan Patan to handle. You'd have to be bowling now, wouldn't you, Waka? Look at this sneaky feeling. Quick single there. That's the best way to play fast bowling I've learnt in my career, is to get up the other end. I have a feeling that there might be a slower delivery. In the air and over top of point. It was in the air for a long time. He backs himself. That's what I like about this kid. Another boundary. Very positive, Tony there. Bit of room there. That's the third time he looked to play that shot. It's the first time he got success on that. Twice he's been beaten and then once went over the slips fielder. And that one was uh, hit nicely over that point fielder. Well, the point for, for me is that you can't be in control of the ball if you're both of your feet. Up i got the feeling he's not going to get too many balls pitched up. And he's backing himself. One bounce down the fine leg. Oh, that could have gone anywhere. End of the over. Eight from it. 294 for five. Here goes the hook shot again. Well in front of square on this occasion. Safe. Well, that's the way to go. He likes to play his shots, Mahindra Singh Dhoni. That's what he needs to do. He's going to get a lot of short pitch deliveries. Look at how short it was. Lots of time for Dhoni to pick a spot. There are two men in the deep. But he made sure he hit it in front of the square. Everything short. More protection on the leg side now. Here he goes again. This time it's gone very fine. But he's scoring in boundaries. It's becoming very predictable. On the shorter side. And Tony is not even coming on the front foot. He's waiting, waiting and waiting. Important runs for India and Mahindra Singh Dhoni. And this boundary also brings up the 300 for India. Three or two for five. Third century coming in 144 deliveries. The quickest of them all. The third century picking up four wickets. On the gap that will go all the way i think on a slightly more lush outfield you'd have had abu razak diving it's 306 for five almost 
the natural angle right arm over against the left hander good position of the seam he bowls a much fuller length than the other pass bowlers Razak but he's deceptively quick and I suspect he'll be giving Dhoni a few short balls as well after the ball has hit the bat found the gap on the offside will it go all the way it's a quick outfield not quite they get three runs though that brings Dhoni on strike just a nice little punch has enough time to pick it off the pitch nice flow off the bat Imran Farhat the man in the field has had a lot of work to do this is a quick outfield and you need that kind of commitment to cut off runs well done well 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 that looked so easy he's a fantastic striker of the cricket ball and it was an extension of defense nothing wrong with the delivery <laughs> no great foot movement just hand-eye coordination he's doing well race to 34 in just 21 balls miss field it stopped it there from Mohammed Yusuf here is the hook shot again gone very fine four runs So you want eight for five. Slightly different situation now that Shoei Bakhtar is out of the attack, Shiba. Straight into the stumps. That's a dangerous move. You've got to wait until the ball passes the stumps before you think about running. Something for everybody to smile about. <laughs> mid on and mid off were far too wide. There was a reasonable opportunity to pick up a single had the ball not hit the stump. Mm, Patan, Patan. <laughs> field again is going quickly another opportunity for a run no they won't take the second one another change in the bowling Danish Kaneria who had been bowling so well before the second the new ball was taken is brought back into the attack again operator once more from the pavilion end feet as well Dhoni likes to hit them a long way and he hits them straight changing a shot at the last moment initial attempt was to get to the pitch and hit over the top but then beaten in the air decided to defend this time got close enough to the pitch on this occasion and went through with a shot that's six more I liked your comparison compared Tony to a freebie that's exactly what he's done Mikey he's a strong man plays with a heavy bat and look at the swing good use of the feet to get the momentum gets the elevation 
Boy, distance, forget about it. It's gone out of this park. And Dennis Kernieri is a lot happier now. Here we go again. Not quite as far this time. This one will stay inside the ground, but it's six nonetheless. It will stay dry this time. But it's also hit the toe end of the bat and gone the distance. Taken Dhoni to a half century. What a way to reach his 50. Second one in Test match cricket. Came in at a difficult time. Doesn't get the front leg across. That enables him to free his arms. Just 34 deliveries for that half centre from Dhoni. Mid-on has been pushed back to long-on. If he hits it as well as he has been hitting, in case he doesn't get hold of it. Man out there on the point boundary, just a single. Fifty-two runs from four to five balls, the partnership so far. Just when India needed it. Here's the hook shot again. Just a single this time. It's been good support for Pakistan. We've also enjoyed some good batting from Dhoni. Passes Thompson on this occasion. Shoya Bakhtar doing the chasing. Thinking about the third run. But Irfan Patan wasn't that quick between the wickets. He wasn't thinking of three. You can see what happens with this Kukulbura ball after very few overs. A difference in pace. Kaukai technology showing the same bowler releasing the ball at the same pace, 93.4 miles an hour. After pitching, you can see the amount the ball has slowed down. The new ball is the white one, the old ball, the red one. That's why it's so important to make use of that new ball. Get early wickets. Anyone, Irfan Patan, he's made 11 from 19 balls. Had a pretty good strike rate, but we've only known he's been out there. And he's just hit a magnificent cover drive. He, he's, he's a talented kid. Well, you can say that again. This is as good a shot as any that you'll see. First ball he faces after T. Was in the slot, mind you, outside the off time. But a beautiful cover drive. Great balance, leaning into it. Finds the power and the placement. And he performed all the time, so he was given the responsibility. Going, going, gone. These kids don't worry about having a look, do they? They just, if it tosses it up, it's going. I don't care whether it's the first over after T or when. I was just waiting for you to say that. You know, that is really a spectacular hit. Didn't try and hit it too hard. It's not as though he gave it his all. There's the coach watching. With each going, going, gone. Two slips in the galley. Three in the covers. Two back for the hook shot. Swing and a miss. That was well bowled. He is deceptive, this man, Razak. Every now and then he gets a little bit of pace and bounce off the wicket. You just got to play your natural game. Even I know in tough situations, don't you, Aaron, that you got to back yourself. And that's the difference between uh, being a good cricketer or an average one. That'll be four. Just open up the blade. Well, it certainly looks a different game. Suddenly, when you start attacking the opposition, the ball held sway for about an hour, hour and a half, and they got those four wickets, the Pakistanis. And then these two sort of counter-attacked. 
Canaria to Doni around the wicket. And he's done it. He's done it. Almost the impossible shot. He's been practicing that shot a fair bit. How do you play that? Don't ask me. This is really a fabulous shot indeed because the bat speed has got to be faster than the ball speed. And just when the ball is passing the bat, he's got a strike. There is a short, fine leg, but take a look at this for a shot. You've never seen anything like this. Got both his feet together and then just helped it on its way. Beautifully done. And he got his feet in a position, if he missed it, it wouldn't have gone onto the stumps. Oh, he's thought about this, hasn't he? Now the other sweep, the conventional sweep for one. And it's the conventional sweep to mid-wicket. Quick single. Well, the understanding's improved between the two. Yes, that could have been sheer tragedy for the Indians. 28 runs here, India required to get past the follow-on. Ethan Patan. Beautiful shot, the placement was almost perfect again. A little bit hesitant about the running between the wickets. These two. Dhoni on strike. Oh, where's he looking? He's, he's got the mid wicket, the deep backward square, the deep mid on. Will he look to play him inside out? Yeah, I thought he did. The call was catch it, but well, I don't think anyone's going to catch it really there because it's gone for six. I thought he was going to go inside out somewhere. And he did, you know, but he went absolutely straight. That's where he's at his best. Now take a look. This is the message. And yet it carried for six. The Danish Canadian felt he was in with a chance there. Look at the amount of space he makes for himself to go with the turn. Yeah, the bat shimmied a little bit there. He didn't quite get it. Another hook shot for one. Or should I say, very sloppy, it's gone for four. They haven't fielded it that well when the ball's been on the ground today, Pakistan. Bob Woolmer will be very disappointed with their efforts. This is regulation stuff. It's only the fact that it's coming at you pretty quickly. Didn't quite get down, Mohammed Asif. Went through his legs. From the spinners, but... And one magnificent hook shot off Shaw back to but he's 27 runs down that quadrant. Well, another misfield here, one feels. Now that's why they're not pitching up to him. Because he's really going after them. Good example, had a bowl reverse swing. Flip around the corner. And that's the 100 partnership between these two. 381 for five. Well, this battle is continuing here, and it's been going on a pretty good clip with India doing very, very well indeed here. These two young kids have got them out of a bit of trouble. Another single down the ground to take you through the next half hour. I'm certainly closer to my grave than my cradle, that's for sure. That's for no protection out there on the offside. Pakistani bowlers looking a little tired there. That's uh, fall on uh, is gone out of the equation here. A loser there, easy easy runs there available for Dhoni. Could I hit it anywhere? What a difference a session makes. That was close. Abdul Razak coming round the wicket. Well, how close was that? I don't think it was uh, too far away from the stumps. Wow. Went uh, through the bat. Runs. Here's a man out deep, but he's looking for two, Dhoni. Gets them. Well, that's the uh, under edge I was talking about. Just uh, have a look at this, the deviation a little bit, uh, just an under edge, but it's very difficult for the wicketkeeper to go down. He wasn't really expecting the ball to stay that low. 
More runs. This will go all the way. Troy Bakhtar won't catch that. Previous couple of runs brought up the 400. It's now 404 for five. There's no one down there at third, man. Abdul Razak was uh, looking for a thinner edge, but that was a little thicker than that uh, big gap between the second slip and the gully. Wasn't really in control there, Irfan Patan. Did open up a little bit of a uh, face, but uh, definitely an outside edge. He's got another fielder in for cut. I think uh, Yunus Khan wants. There's that sweep. It's gone very fine. Abdul Razak down there. Gets a couple of runs, Dhoni. Well, I thought uh, Yunus Khan's idea was uh, that a free will ball outside the off stump. He's got two fielders for that cut shot to block that. But uh, Dhoni was clever enough to pick his mind. Swept that one from outside the off stump. Picked up two more runs. Here he goes again. Just a single this time. Moves on to 9-7. to seven. Stay in the game. They've got to take a wicket now. They have bowled well before T, but haven't really had any success since then. Right over the top. Will he get three for this? It's going a long way towards the boundary. He's sprinting, don't he? Won't get to the boundary, but he runs three. That's his century. His maiden test century, Dhoni. Well done, Dhoni. Really deserved the century. Played like a champion. A loser there by Afridi. Took full advantage. He knew that it's just a loser. So I've got to take the advantage. And the pavilion there. All standing up. Well deserved. Very well played. Short ball, there is a hook, there is another boundary. Decided to take him on. Irfan Patan. What a shot from a man who played in the team as a bowler. Nicely hit. And this one went wide of the square leg fielder. There is a man back there. But he hit it that one through through that mid wicket area. With that pace, well, beautiful shot. Bit of aggression from Shahid Afridi. Patan picks up a king single, he'll keep strike. It's 420 for five. Imran Farhat, the field and the deep, just a single again. But the battle heating up, Arun. Oh, the slips were impressed. Not the bowler, not the keeper. Still has something to say. The batsman also retaliating. Well, it's not good for the game. The cricket has been great. It's been intense. They need to compete hard with the bat and ball, but nothing else. Very well bowled indeed. Hurled that down in, into the wicket. Got enough bounce and pace. But eventually, Irfan let it go. I wonder what he was saying. They make it a point to stay away from both the stump mics. Played the pull shot again. Great fielding in the deep. Looked like a certain boundary. Just the single to end the over. It's 423 for five.
Allianz Cup 2006. Main sponsor, UK Land Investments Group, world leaders in land investment. Co-sponsored by... It's text down there, one of our cameramen. Outside edge, and four. Captain still want you to carry on. It's a great effort. Runs. The injustices of this game. He should have had a couple of wickets. And look at that. Just a push for runs. The other umpire there, Simon Taffel. Age of 35. Do you got to understand, folks, that uh, the ICC retired them off at the age of 65. So he's got 30 years of misery. Chance over the top of Backward Square, that'll be his 50. Not the way he wanted to bring it up, he tried to whack it over point. And it's his fifth test 50 and he's played very, very well. Very impressive inning. It's been uh, very compact yesterday. Played his shots also, he played most of his shots. Looks to hit over the top and that one just sliced off the bat. It was in the air for a while, but uh, long way away from the fielder there. And that one gone for boundary. That's his 50. Well deserved 50. India really needed that 50. He works hard in his game. It must be a hard work being all around. You don't get a chance at any stage really to relax for a match. Sort of finished bowling and all of a sudden he might be batting very soon. Four from the over. Four, four, five for five. Has to be a bit careful there. He does get a fine nick and go between keeper and slip again, as we've seen. Here we go. Show it back up. Swing and a miss. Well, we've seen some uh, swing last evening at the end of the at the most at the end of the day when uh, Asif was bowling, and uh, very early on, Shreya swung that one away. The shine definitely on the outside of his uh, hand that should have gone uh, away and that's exactly what happened. So there is a bit of a reverse swing. Let's have a look at the 50 of Irfan Patan as well. He's very good through there now. He gets his foot to the pitch of the ball, doesn't he? And then he's, he's got the ability with the strength and hits it over the top. Mean to go through backward point there. But he opened the plate up there, that hit that right in, in the screws, and that's the new shot that he's got, the pull shot. He, he plays so well, and he didn't mean that to go through backward point, try to hit it through the covers, but it was a very good 50 nevertheless. Most of the shots he played was uh, on the floor, but the one uh, we just saw earlier, which was, uh, was uh, against Danish Kanir, that's a red bridge, a huge bridge, that was a huge six of Danish Kanir, otherwise a good innings there. That'll be one at least. Stoney will get two the way. He's so quick between the wickets. Well, Dino, uh, Irfan Patan definitely has improved his uh, batting. He's really done well in the last few games. It's, uh, he really works hard uh, on his batting. But the only problem, uh, what I see, is he's gone down uh, in his bowling. I don't know if he's uh, thinking too much about his batting and uh, not really concentrating on his uh, Bowling, which definitely will be a little worry for the for the Indian team. The Indian team wants him to be more of a bowler than a batsman, so that might be a little worry for all driver there. Yeah, and that's number one priority. He's got to get wickets first. That's why he's picked you. Dead set right wicker. Another another two one fields. Good running, very good running indeed. And a bit slack too by the Pakistani team. No one got to the stumps. Yeah, he's just saying, Muhammad Yusuf there saying, come on now, we, we've got, got to get a bit of organisational sk skills. And Danish Canary's just standing back there. That's a non-negotiable at Test Cricket. Someone had to get to the, get to the stumps.
crowd has been very supportive. They supported cricket very well. Not only Pakistan, but uh, they understand their cricket. They love the cricket here. Well, Dhoni is so comfortable at the crease now that uh, he can sweep from outside the off stump. He's, uh, he's, he doesn't really look like that. He's a kind of a uh, batsman who who is very good at sweeping. But well, this sort of uh, shot can make really look silly to the fielders. 451 for five. Get one there. Yeah, there's a few near misses here and there. Oh, hang on. What's going on here? Well, the, the, on the right's the PIA to Islamabad, and the other one's going to Karachi. And that is a near miss. How's that for vision? And now you've got to be very careful as well, Wacker, because you're playing all these back to back test matches, and it's very hard to come out, come up quickly for each match. You've got to be careful of not overusing these guys. And no ball there. And it might go for four. Oh, great effort. Imran Fahad down there. It's a no ball, but brilliant effort. I tell you what, it's all right to sit back on your, on your chairs at home, folks, but this ground is very, very hard. And he's dived all the way to his right. His knee's gone into the ground. It would have taken some skin off the knee without doubt. Looking for that sharp Yorker, in swinging Yorker. And have a look at for the effort here from uh, Imran Farad. Very nicely done. That's what uh, the bowlers need. That's what a uh, bit of a support bowlers uh, need. And that is uh, it's really hurt. These grounds are uh, not easy to dive on. End of the over. 455 for five. Will he go for the big one down the ground or will he just be quite content to pinch ones and twos? Oh, no! he, I thought he got some bat on it. I thought he got some bat on it. He did get his front foot outside the line. No, he didn't. Well. Well, I'm not really sure if he got a bat on it. It definitely got the pad first, that's for sure. And uh, we got to look at the replay here. That one pitched uh, outside the line. Maybe just a touch outside the line, but uh, very close. Very close. Well, I could understand why they were shouting. Well, beautifully bowled. Oh, he's bowled without luck, this lad. He really has. He bowled beautifully yesterday at times. That's the top spinner. Well, Fan Fatan was looking for that ball to spin back into him. But uh, if we can gather the umpire, he was so quick saying no. As you can see, the head going, is nodding that no, not out. So he was pretty sure. But if you can see the replay here, pitched in and just turned a little bit. Didn't hit the bat. Fair enough. That was hitting middle stump. That's out. Even uh, well, the best thing about Shoebach that the position he gets into when he delivers the ball is such in a good position that he can really generate a lot of pace and he can put a lot of energy behind the ball. Is the pace coming from his back and from shoulder? He gathers it very well. Magnificent shot, shot of the morning. He's tried to pitch up for the Yorker, but it was right in the slot. And a player like Dhoni doesn't miss opportunities like that. That's a great answer. Looking for another Yorker there. Pitched it up. Just a beautiful shift of the weight. He didn't really try to hit it hard. All he did just punched it and made sure that his, his weight should just go behind the ball. And that one uh, didn't give much time to Shoaib Akhtar to put, put his foot even in front of the ball. Glorious shot. Let's have a look at that LBW again, if we can. Here it is here. 
gets his foot outside the line and it hits him just on off stump line one feels it does there for me and that's good enough and if you think the ball that goes on he honestly thought he was out here and that's it and there's his reaction look at his look at his eyes he knows he's out there he knows he's gone look at that look there oh the pitcher tells a thousand words but the umpire's point of view there, it's interpretation and the thing that saved him i think he Rudy Kirsten could see a little bit of middle stump and, and leg stump, and that's what sort of helped him. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. He just opened the blade up and ramped it over top of slips. I don't think he exactly meant to hit where, he, where the ball went, but, uh, but he went very effectively. I thought he just tried to go maybe a little wider, but uh, the pace of the ball just took it... Uh, very nicely over to the stumps, over the first lift fielder. Well, maybe he's trying to ram, ram it down the third man. I don't think he tried to get, you're right, I don't think he tried to get it as fine as that. He just had it, his heart in his mouth a little bit there because he had a little jump in the air. You're thinking, oh, I hope I haven't hit that right to Eunice Khan at first slip. But another four that takes him 16 fours, four sixes. Will he get some chin music? and he's just dealt with it well it's nothing like a young tiger and he certainly is the old pro show back there is trying to rattle his cage but the tiger in it just enjoys it and he's not happy that's the third boundary in this over and that was uh, probably the easiest of the delivery to hit I was way wide of the off stump looking for a high bouncer but nicely dealt there by Dhoni there that one hit uh, almost uh, over mid on. Beautiful shot. The, the way he finished the shot, the way the follow through and the feet where they're pointing. The shot back to. Uh, he's uh, starting to lose the, the plot here a little bit. He's had a go at the mid on. I think it was Danish Canaria. And it's made him run 25 metres more than he wanted to. Oh, that might get a warning and will go for no balls. And no doubt Simon Taffel, when you get a guy bowling at 156 kilometres an hour at that height, will get a warning for that. And he's not happy, don't he? There it is there. He has to do that. He's just tapped him on there, and he's trying so hard to... He's trying to bowl the Yorker there, and it's just slipped out of his hand. Well, that's bad. I know he was angry. He didn't like the shot he played earlier, but that is a poor delivery. I don't think Adino slipped out of his hand. Looking for a sore Yorker here, but uh, that is uh, not on. That's not on. I'm not really sure if he apologised after that because that's not on in cricket. And you get a quick single here. Danish Canary, a chance to throw him out. Oh, he's too quick. He's just too quick. End of the over, another good one for India. 474 for five. Some of the elite forces here actually starting to make the pictures in the papers as well. They're everywhere. The girls. Another big single I'll tell you what these pitches do it's quite frustrating for bowlers it really is they try their their hardest here they're trying to get something out out of their pitch let's have a look at the let's have a look at the he's trying to bowl a Yorker there and and he's quite remorseful there I thought an apology might have been should have been forthcoming actually from there Let's have another look at it. He's taking his hat there. You're not happy. Simon Taufel re realised this, this pitch is so hard for bowlers and it's quite frustrating. You've got one of the best, fastest bowlers in the world. Cricket uh, is a gentleman's game. I know you need a lot of aggression there, but uh, well, for this sort of things, you need to apologise. Side edge over the top. Now that might run away down there for four. Now that equals 
the highest score on this ground by an Indian in Test cricket. Gundapa Vishwanath got that. And now he's equaled the highest score by an Indian in Test cricket against Pakistan on this ground. So well done to him. Well, Danish Kanere is lucky that he's got an edge on that because uh, the way he swung his bat, this ball uh, would have definitely gone downtown. He, he's eyeing off that inside out over extra cover for me. That's what I thought. That's where he's eyeing it up. And I'll get two more here. Oh, and there's nearly a collision in the middle of the pitch. Not the greatest piece of running I've ever seen in the world. And that's the 200 partnership between these two young lads. Well played. It's following advice, is it? <laughs> that's four. That is four. So easy, just a nice push through the offside. Oh, that was a bit of movement there. This could be close, not a very good throw. That was dangerous. She thought so too. But throw was off balance. Dhoni takes off and he's just about to throw now he's very quick he backs himself but if the throw was on the stumps it would be a near thing a direct hit would have had him but it's a little difficult to expect a throw At this ground and Salim Malik actually held the record for the highest partnership by any team on this ground that has just to be increased by another single. Undoubtedly, by giving them responsibility up to the order in one day internationals. He got Irfan Patan, Mahindra Singh Dhoni to play at three. Normally, Patan would be playing at eights and nines and sevens. Not too much opportunity there. There was an obvious talent, but it has emerged. Yes, that was quick. Dhoni is quick. He almost got back in the follow-through of that huge swing. The bat would have come down very quickly. But Kamran Akmal was very, very quick and equal to the task. No need to refer that. That's a big, big wicket. Dhoni is gone. For a fabulous 144. It's now 491 for six. That ball turned a bit. He wanted to get his 150 with a six. It wasn't to the pitch of it. It sort of dipped on him as well. But Kamran Akmal was very quick indeed. The bills were off in a flash. A huge follow through that Dhoni has. He tries to hit it so hard. They also help him come back into the crease that way. Following the swing through, but it wasn't quick enough. That really was good work though by Kamran Akmal. End of the over. 491 for six. excitement there and Mohamed Asif certainly wouldn't have been out of place to get a wicket there now this, we showed you what happened in this game this is a throw almost hitting his own toe well this was against England beautiful bowling oops That expression is a sellout. <laughs> Misfield. 
Oh, that would have been gone. Never run on a misfield, is what they say. This one, had it been a direct hit, Makar, would have been disaster. For sure. I mean, the angle we were looking at, it was, uh, you could tell from there that it would have been uh, plum, it would have been just gone. Couldn't really gather that nicely, he didn't really gather that in his hand. Wasn't really balanced when he threw that ball. Irfan Patan was well short of his ground. Could have been in another run there, but... Uh, One of the teams got to take the initiative, but for the moment... Well, apart from a very first uh, catch, he dropped him run for Since then, he's been just brilliant on the field. From the outfield, this runner especially. That, that brought Pakistan into the game. India was cruising at that time, and look at this. He's been just excellent on the field. Beauty. If he can save so many runs and get a few as an opener, he certainly will be an asset to this team. Man in the deep, so just a single. India trail by 91. Can they get past Pakistan as quickly as they can? Shweb Malik is uh, missing. The heel there, but uh, not out. So if, if the Indians can declare maybe now or maybe in about half an hour, maybe get another 20, 30 runs or get around uh, 60 runs, uh, give them 60 runs and declare and if they can, uh, you know, that can also embarrass Pakistan. Okay, we're coming back from the back. There you go, another sweep, beautiful sweep there by Neil Kumble. That's race to the boundary. Could be the way, the way in which they're going. Getting runs quickly, the Indians getting past 500. 88. That is a nicely played. Wow, what a shot. He's not going to let me finish my declaration talk. This is an excellent shot. We'll come back to that, Bakar, but this was stunning. Everything perfect. Steady head, head over the ball. Good transfer of body weight. Just opening the face of the bat at the last moment to get the placement. Good value for your shots in this outfield. So they might have to think, okay, they have given us a chance. We've got to declare tomorrow sometime and make a game of it. Good point, Vakar. That's what I would like to see as well. But the point here is Patan is on 71. For all those reasons that you mentioned about Inzamam, being unfit and Shoaib Malik not being there, some tired legs in the Pakistani ranks. That's in the air. He's played that magnificently. There was a fielder in the deep at deep extra cover, but he went over him. That's what they need to do. Get quick runs. That'll put pressure on Pakistan. Well, they're going at 3.64 runs and over at the moment. The inside out, picked the wrong one and played it beautifully, didn't he? He likes hitting them over there. Bit of width, full full release of the hands and got all of it big one down the ground over the top huge one sixer that's more like it that's injecting some positivity into play well done young man brilliant hit he's gone over the top on the offside so he's got a lot of options in his batting Oh, it's a great shot out of the rake, he's out of the foot marks and he still gambled to hit it over mid-off. It shows a player of class. Oh, and that's an easy one. And pinches the strike. Good batting from Patan, he goes to 83. It's 521 for six. Will, will this pitch break up? That's another thing that has to come into your mind is for Rahul Dravid. That's day four and it's still rock hard. You may be right, uh, Dino, but I suspect that if that were to happen, if they don't lose a wicket now to lunch, and they're about 550 plus, they're going to come out firing on all cylinders. And then they're really going to go after the Pakistani attack, get in lots of quick runs, and then declare.
maybe 40 minutes after lunch, maybe 50 minutes after lunch, maybe 40 runs ahead. But they're definitely going to come and use up their batting resources now, then rely on them later. They've never had that strength lower down. So they'd be very happy and pleased with the performance of these two youngsters. It's 5.27 for six. Danish Canaria gets him very close to the stumps. Let's watch. It's not that one. It's that one there and runs away. And that was enough for Rudy Kurtz. He said, that's your warning. Oh, I've been talking to you for hours and hours of getting in there. That is enough. Now he'll say, that's your one warning. Skipper, where are you? Official warning. They get three. Three warnings. Two warnings and the third one, you're off. And why is that? That's fine for bowlers, but they don't do that for batsmen. They're always, I think, of ripping it up with my spikes. Beautiful shot. That'll get at least two. Not one thick. No. Oh, good piece of work to stop the cut the angle there. Well done, Muhammad Asif there. for sure and Simon Toffel normally these are not given because you're not sure but that is an amazingly good decision it pitched in line was going to hit the stumps hit the pad first very close but he got it right disappointment for Irfan elation for Razak but that is a big blow Patan again missing out on a hundred but he's done a fabulous job for his team 90 for Patan it's now 5.29 for 7. Two from Abdul Razak. Well played. His second wicket, 5.29 for seven. But I think he's a bit sore. He's just, he's into his 45th over. They're asking you a bit much of him, aren't they? here at the back of the hand the spinning of the ball side edge oh that nearly carried to the bat pad on the offside nice shot and well fielded too from behind point i think it's show back to there it's the new batsman on strike now this is where danish canary who's bowled really well worked hard for his two wickets gets harbajan on strike so he'll only get one ball at him what will he bowl here Aaron? will he bowl the, the straight one and try and get him mel b Nearly got through. Just have a look at his front foot. It goes right across. And then he realises it starts to shape back in. Hits the pad first that we've gone on to hit middle at least. Even though he was down the pitch, he's trying to say no, no. And look at the disappointment. You just watch. He's looking at the umpire and he's looking... Disappointment. He knew that he was in trouble. He was looking at umpire Simon Taffel. Just taken unawares by that 
swing into him. This is how you saw it. Now take a look at that. That is a terrific decision for the umpire. it was there bit of swing we saw for Abdul Razak but you'll see lots of swing with the bat with Harbhajan Singh that's a comfortable single getting closer and closer to this Pakistan total India Pakistan this is over with number 149 Wrong line. You don't want to be bowling that line with just two men on the onside. He's getting the ball to swing. That's a good shot. You don't run for those. Harbhajan Singh. Loves his batting. Really thinks he's a very good player. And a perfect example. Plenty of men on the offside. Easy as it can get. Doesn't bother running. Eyes on the ball. Well fielded. Very well done. Add one more to the package of Imran Farhat. That's four. You can expect something to happen all the time when Harbhajan Singh is on strike. And this ball was in the right slot. Over pitched. No chance for any deviation after pitching. Uses the bottom hand even while driving on the offside to generate power. Well, the googly certainly is turning. I think the googly is turning a lot more than the leg breaks actually. It's just because of the different release from the back of the hand has a higher trajectory more time in the air more revolutions single to end the over five four seven for seven a hundred and fifty overs bold another new ball will be available in ten overs time this time it was the away swinger in Harbhajan. Picks it well. More runs. Big gaps on that onside. That will go all the way. Boundary brings up the 550 for India. They're getting close. Just 37 run shot at the moment. Harbhajan sings. He'll get majority of them in boundaries. Again, the end swinger. He's picking it up quite well, Harbhajan Singh. He's got a wide range of shots. Outscored his partner at the moment. Edged and just falling short, I think. It would have been a no ball anyway. He's bowled a lot of those. Abdul Rasak, plenty of no balls, 27 no balls in the innings. Did that carry? Not that it would have made a difference. Hopefully, there won't be another injury to the Pakistan team. It's the man in form, Yunus Khan. The 
though Abdul Razak, he'll be pleased with that. That one just leaving the right-hander. No great pace off the pitch though, so again the ball not carrying to the slip cordon. Nice genuine edge, not even that the batsman was just... but there's no way it's going to carry all that distance in the air. Yeah, one thing uh, very important for me and uh, a lot of people that follow Indian cricket, India went into this match with just five batsmen. Not a big contribution from Sebag, nothing from Tendulkar and Yubraj. Traub had got a hundred, and Irfan Patan doing a fabulous job for India. I just get the feeling that these two can bat consistently well. India should play five bowlers all the time. Change events. Danish Kanaria from the golf course end for the first time in this match. strikes. Anil Kumble goes for 15. It's 553 for 8. Eight wickets down and Zahir Khan comes to the crease for India. Very attacking field now for Zahir Khan. Has a best of 75 so that shows he is capable with the bat. But Junis Khan totally on the attack now two slips in place or perhaps you may say a slip under gully silly point forward short leg, leg short extra cover they're playing on a different pitch now mikey still not looking to accelerate still quite happy to just play normally Was it dragged? We'll soon find out. Could be tight. Kamran Lakman does an extremely good job. It's in the air. Now it's on the ground. And he is safe. Get the feeling he's safe. Well, his foot was in the air initially. It went back down and then it bounced up again. It's down now. The bales are off and it's then raised again. So this is a tight call. It's down at the moment. It's down when the bail is off. So in my opinion, that's not out. But then it's raised after the bail comes off. I think that should be not out. The green light should appear, and it does. He knows that his foot was not outside of the crease, but he's saying, tell me if it was raised at the point of the stomping. There he goes telling the television replay umpire exactly what he's asking that's straight over the top that's safe that should be four runs five five seven for eight Zahir Khan 
the single was always on because there are only two men in the outfield on the leg side deep square leg and a man at mid on leaving the mid wicket open for the batsman to hit against the turn yes a lot of time to wait on the back foot and work it away for a single gets off the mark Zaid Khan over bold it's 558 for 8 Field again for Zahir Khan. Well bowled. Very well bowled. If that had hit the boot, that would have been out, I would have to think. Two leg spinners who bowl brilliant googlies are Afridi and Anil Kumble. Well, just getting his leg out of the way, hitting the toe end of the bat, he'll have to say, well played. Inside edge, then onto the back leg. Zaid Khan does extremely well. Was that the leg break? Yes, it was. I just pull the off break from time to time. There he goes, the off break. Post things I you can. It's the last delivery with the leg spin action though. Post the off break. Make a pardon with the leg spin grip. Lunch. Made in 100 for Mahindra Singh Dhoni, 144 coming in very good time, just 152 deliveries. The captain getting back to back hundreds, Rahul Dravid, good partnership with Vivius Lakshman. Irfan Patan, the second time being dismissed in the 90s. Anil Kumble played a long time for his 15. Harbhajan Singh played some good shots in his 19. Of the century runs in the batting, four century runs in the bowling. Three wickets for Danish Kanira, he certainly bowled well, but the man who certainly bowled a lot better than those figures would indicate Mohamed Asif. Three, 34 overs, one for 103, should have been quite a bit more, but just over three runs, his economy rate, which is good going. So this now tells the story. 588 Pakistan, 559 for 8 India, and Dean Jones is on the boundary edge as you. He'll be quite happy. Three wickets to his name, Danish Canary. The first session, 35 overs bowled, 118 runs scored by India. And Pakistan have picked up three wickets. Mentioned the word great deliveries on the wickets package. It does take great ability to pick up wickets on tracks such as these. Still very good for batting. Zaire Khan on two. Can play the big shots. He's got a dismatch 50 up his name. His partner Harbhajan Singh, four fours in his 19. Straight away, Danish Canaria on target. Really amazes me the way Danish Canaria always starts. It doesn't really start with a bad delivery or a loser. He's always on target. That one uh, pitched. Gone against the turn, and he's done well. Big open space between the man at mid on and deep square leg boundary. Zahir Khan. Plenty of shots been played against the spin today. We have seen Irfan Patan playing earlier. On that occasion against the spin, a bit risky, but very effective. No fielder there in the mid wicket region. Nicely picked. Time square of the wicket on the offside. Just mentioned he hasn't bowled too many shots. He's bowled one and he's got a boundary. Consecutive boundaries to end the over. It's 567 for eight. It's all about cricket. 
in cricket at its best. The intention was to hit it in the air. Yunus Khan decided to go with both the spinners, giving his fast ball as a rest. More runs. Harpajan doesn't want the second. By signal. Applied effort from uh, both the bowler and the wicketkeeper. You can't really blame them. It's been on the field for a long time. It's, this is the 158th over of this inning. Be a boundary. Fetch it. Poor delivery. Made good use of by Harbhajan Singh. Well, India can take advantage here of uh, this uh, lazy effort from the Pakistanis. Not many runs uh, left before they equal uh, their first inning total. But once they get there... Oh, that's a biggie. It's gone the distance. Runs are coming thick and fast for India. Have they come in with a plan? Well, I think they have heard uh, Arun Lal speaking in the interval. They want to just go for a bang here. Want to put a big total here quickly. They want to give themselves a chance to win this match. Which looks very difficult, but still they want to give themselves a chance. Will pick up a single. And also keep strike. It's 580 for 8. Harbhajan moves into the 30s. Oh, what a delivery. What a delivery. Just too good for any batsman. You're right, Shiva, from the far end. Uh, the spinners have been uh, pretty effective, especially Danish Kanea. That one just not only turned, but also bounced. He's gone straight. There's a man at long off, but he's got no chance. He's a mere spectator. Hanging around, there are going to be these good deliveries that might beat you. Take the attack to the opposition. Well, the last one bounced off the wicket, and this one bounced uh, in the crowd. Beautiful hit there by Harbhajan Singh. Intentions are very clear. Got to the pitch of the ball. Nicely hit. Doesn't matter. He will still take them on. Just a single this time again. Well, he likes it, Afridi, because Afridi has been out for him. This is what he would have enjoyed most. Afridi hit him for four consecutive sixes, and now Harbhajan is giving it back. And this one of Canaria, the best of the lot. Just one run required to equal Pakistan. Big appeal and he has been given. It will be interesting. There was some bat on to that. But was it bat first? No doubt it was headed towards the stump. The finger of Rudy Kutzen uh, normally comes very slow. But on that occasion, he was pretty sure that this is hitting the stumps. It did hit the bat also. But, well, it hit the pad way too early and Rudy was ready for it that wasn't uh, missing anything it was hitting the middle stump even Afridi knew it that this uh, slow finger of Rudy Kutz is going to come out Harbhajan Singh gone for 38 287 for 9 big opportunity big, big occasion for him He's here because of a very good delivery and a great decision by Rudy Kurtzen. Harbhajan Singh, the man dismissed. Look forward to getting his first run in Test Match Cricket. And another appeal, missing leg stump, no doubt. 
would you believe the speed of the last ball? 120.4 k's per hour. As quick as Patan. Afridi is a Patan. Missing leg. He's taken a lot of wickets on this uh, faster one. This is definitely going uh, way down the leg side. Swung in late. 5-8-8. What an effort by the Indians. Uh, level the score. It's always difficult in the second inning, especially to... If a team gets a big total like 588 or 600, 600 plus, they ball the quickest. I don't see any of the Indians bowling that pace. He's got some pace off it. And a cover. Let's just get the single. Danish Kaneria picks it up. At long off. Single to end the over. 589 for 9. On the board, they've got the one run lead. Still uh, one wicket to go. Late fine. Mohamed Yusuf will cut it off. Just a single. They're quite keen to give the single to Zayar Khan and get Rudra Pratap Singh on strike. The first wicket by Shahid Afridi. You'll have a look at it on a dart fish and how much this ball has deviated after pitching. On how late was Harbhajan Singh on that ball? It's pretty late. The bat, you can't see the bat in the picture. And that was hitting. Nothing but middle stump. Beautiful leg before. The impact may have been outside the line of off stump. Could have been the googly. But he was attempting to play a shot. Looks like that they hit the back leg of uh, RP Singh. Definitely a googly. Might have been missing leg stump. It hit the back leg in front of the middle stump. I'm not really sure how much he's going to spin and uh, might have missed the leg stump. Did he hit it? Free D to continue. Zahid Khan will look to play the big shots. Well, he's found the gap, has he now? Just a single. Pakistan are happy to give Zahir Khan a single and try to... I haven't seen much of a spin uh, yet. We are into the fourth day of the second test match. 591 for nine. Now single. Misfield. 592 for nine. It was in the air. Wide of Shoei Bakhtar at mid on. We'll just get the single. Well, the positive sign for me, Wakar, playing his first test match, and he's got a lot of logos, which is a good sign. Pakistan started uh, after lunch with both the spinners. Uh, could have easily brought maybe Mohammad Asif or Shoei Bakhtar. New ball is available uh, for Pakistan. If they want to av avail that. Indian spinners also. Catch it was the call. Difficult one though. 595 for 9. They bowled on a flat deck in Lahore. In the first three days here it's been flat as well. Your break will pick up a single when conditions start to help you a little bit that's where you've got to gain the lost ground pick up some wickets go into the next match in Karachi with a positive frame of mind a little more confident I think that's what is required Zahir Khan has taken the invitation and the result is good for Zahir Khan and good for India. They go past 600. Well, uh, Afridi has given a little bit of an air there and uh, Zahir Khan, a bit of an air with the bat. 
has gone all the way. Nicely struck. Time for me, as far as I'm concerned. Nine for 603. Great performance there. Let's throw it back in Pakistani's face. Let's declare. How are you, Aaron? Are we going to have a declaration? What's going on? You're going on like a broken record, do you know? Well, let me tell you, the number one cricket team in the world would have declared by now. The number one cricket team in the world is Oh, what a catch! Oh, it's a ripper. He's been in the game with a bat, he's been in the game with a ball, and now he's caught an absolute blinder of a return catch. Unbelievable, what a cricketer. Tremendous energy and enthusiasm for the game. Take a look at this. This is really going to gladden your heart. Wonderful, that's against the follow-through, just plucks it out of thin air, inches off the ground, and he has got another wicket. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. The fact that he's turned as well and not let his elbow hit the ground and made the ball not bobble out, that is the, the reason why he's, he's taken the catch. He realised he's got it, this is all through training as a kid now, he turns his body to make sure his elbow doesn't hit the ground to make the ball bobble out. That is a very good catch indeed. He's finished with two wickets for the match. And now we've heard, just got news that Sean Malik will be returning to the ground at some stage this afternoon, later on tonight. So they might not be a less one batsman. There it is, India all out. 603. And... Uh,